Hello everyone in Annecy and those joining online. I uh, hope you can see my slides okay, but please shout if not. Um, so yes, I'm Megan from War Trade and I'm going to present uh, the draft work plan on advocacy as part of the uh, Watch Working Group. So I'm presenting this work plan on behalf of the members of the sub working group listed here. And as you can see, we're a small bunch. So we really welcome the contribution involvement of others in the working group to join us. So importantly, it's, uh, I want to mention that the work of this group is very much linked to the broader GTFCC advocacy communication strategy, which is under development. And specifically, we're focusing in on objective four around increasing funding for long term sustainable wash in cholera hotspots, as well as, as well as, of course, contributing to other objectives. So in terms of the overall aim of this work stream, we really want to accelerate progress to ending cholera through increasing political prioritization and financing of wash for cholera control. So we split this into three objectives really to contribute to this overarching aim. So one on political leadership, one on financing and one on policy. So the first of political leadership is around institutionalizing the use of cholera as an indicator of the highest priority wash needs in major wash donors and implementers. So this objective is very much focused on targeting the wash sector at large and really building that ownership of uh, the wash of cholera as a wash sector issue and really positioning cholera as a way for the wash sector to meet their own goals at SDG 6, particularly on sort of equity and reaching the most in need. And the second um, is around increasing wash investments for cholera control from national governments and donors. And this is primarily focused on uh, national governments recognizing that the majority of wash uh, funding for NCPs will come from national governments. Um, although of course, recognizing donors have an important role to play in, in increasing the overall bucket of funding. And finally, um, our third objective is a policy change objective on how to drive progress on WASH through WASH being adequately prioritized and integrated into other aspects of cholera control. And this links very closely to the previous uh, presentation on OCV. So we've, as a group, proposed a number of activities to support these different objectives. And I think it's important to say at this point that um, these are really illustrative examples of some of the activities we could be doing, but really would like the input of the group to help uh, prioritize which activities we should do, recognizing that we're a small group and there's, you know, we have a lot of ideas, but I think it's really important to, to see what we should prioritize and what we're going to have most, what's going to be most effective to do in the year ahead. Um, so under the first objective, um, the main kind of two activities, the first centers around engaging in events and comms specifically targeted uh, at the WASH sector. So this is really around tailoring our messaging specifically um, to engage the WASH sector and really drive that call to action around prioritizing cholera hotspots. So utilizing key WASH sector events, uh, engaging and developing high level WASH champions and the use of media, both traditional and online and social, um, to really drive home that call to action. And then we felt a second activity that we should do probably in the short term is um, a sort of donor landscape analysis where we map sort of the largest, some of the mapping of the largest wash donors in the CSB countries and the hybrid and cholera countries. And then from that, um, develop specific and target engagement with these donors, as well as more on the policy side, inputting into um, donors wash strategies as they've been refreshed to ensure kind of cholera and indeed a public health imperative is driving wash investments. So secondly, on um, the second objective around increasing wash investments from national governments. So as mentioned, this, this objective is really focused on um, supporting national level um, advocacy. So what as a working group can we do to support um, initially the four CSP countries and their advocacy, whether that's producing additional resources, documenting case studies, um, using the hotspots map for more advocacy purposes, so one to two page sort of visual advocacy resources, as well as, of course, in using uh, cost-effective data, um, really targeted at ministries responsible for WASH and ministries of finance. 
And then a second activity we talked a lot about was engaging um, and linking with national CSOs uh, networks on Washington Health, uh, particularly what, so thinking through what we as a group could do to identify and support um, sort of small scale funding um, to support national CSO networks to advocate specifically on cholera and WASH. And finally, um, a specific activity this year around engaging with the Sanitation and Water for All partnership, which have their um, sector ministers meeting in May. So could we include cholera in the preparatory resources and comms um, ahead of the meeting? And, and very practically, this could be a GTFC letter to the WASH sector ministers calling for this targeting of cholera hotspots and increasing investment, WASH investments in these areas. And finally, on um, objective three around um, ensuring progress of WASH is adequately prioritized and integrated in other aspects of cholera control. The activity we proposed here is really focused in on OCV. Um, so developing a format for the inclusion of WASH activities and commitments as part of OCV requests, which I won't go into detail as this was just previously discussed in the last presentation um, in a lot more detail, but just really to emphasize that this is uh, a priority, an advocacy priority for the working group. So we look forward to working with the OCB working group to, to push this agenda along. And um, I think just, just to say two points on this specifically, you know, what we could be doing um, in during OCV campaigns. And I think Alex talked about this, but integrating hygiene behavior change at the time of OCB. Um, but also how do we um, mobilize uh, the WASH sector to, um, to drive progress during that window of opportunity of three to five years. Um, so this is definitely an area of uh, interest for us and, and what guidance and, you know, really how do we drive that accountability um, on progress on WASH. So I've put a couple of questions here around you know, what I mentioned before, what we should, what should we prioritize? Um, what is the most important thing the subworking group could and should do over the next year? And most importantly, how do we best support national advocacy efforts and work with the CSP? I'm really keen to get um, the working group's input on these questions as well as others. Um, I also like to ask, just use the opportunity to see if anyone else from the subworking group on advocacy would like to, to add to anything I've said or, um, if I've missed anything important. So thanks very much, I'll, I'll stop there.